Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you're all fit and fine. I am KVS Bhaskar, PGT in English, AP Residential School, Kalvabugga, Karnul District. In today's uh, video session, let's try to learn how to write a diary entry. Before uh, going to this activity, let me show you a short uh, video clipping from the movie The Butterfly Circus, in which Nick Vujicic acted. And you can enjoy this bit of video clipping. Here it comes. Yes, you have seen Nick in this uh, video. And now on the screen, you see Nick's parents, uh, father Boris Uyichich and mother Dashka Uyichich. 
let's observe these two words diary and dairy what is a diary diary is a book in which the experiences feelings and emotions of a person is written or recorded day wise what about dairy dairy it is a building where milk is stored or where cheese cream and butter are made now let us see what is a diary interestingly if we think the daily incidents accurately recorded by you it becomes your diary it is a diary so a diary is a personal record of incidents mixed up with feelings and emotions when is the diary written when is it written it is written at the end of the day before going to bed when one writes a diary a sort of feeling of having a conversation with an intimate friend is felt so what about the language how should be the language what is the language to be used what should be our style of writing a diary entry let us see generally simple tense is used to record the already happened incidents present and future tense is also used to record the future plans and resolutions the narration should be in first person language should be friendly and informal style of writing should reflect as if we are chatting face to face more importance is to be given to feelings and emotions rather than describing incidents what is the format of a diary entry let us see to begin with it is day and date the next one is salutation so under salutation we write dear diary writing dear diary it is optional you may or you may not write next comes the body so when we write a diary what should be recorded there the feelings and emotions of the days incidents ought to be recorded divide diary entry into short and meaningful paragraphs coming to the conclusion conclude with future plans and resolutions if any so you have to end your diary with signing off or signature now let's take an example you can see nick uichic in this slide as a boy what is the example taken here is imagine yourself as dashka uichic mother of nick uichic write a diary entry of the day on which your son nick was born with no arms and legs so what points and uh, what are the feelings let us uh, see in a broad sense the feelings of the mother 
it's certain that Nick's mother might have been shocked and dumbstruck seeing the baby Nick. Just imagine what Nick's mother might have recorded in her diary about Nick's birth without limbs. Definitely, her feelings might have been painful. Let's see the model diary entry. The answer to the example which we have taken. So to begin with, we have to begin with the, the date and the time, as I said. Yes, 11th July 2021, 9 p.m. Dear diary, as I said, writing the salutation, it is optional. So how it begins? What are the feelings of uh, the mother? Let's see. Oh God, today is the most shocking and disappointing day in my life. We, as the parents of Nick, are really unfortunate to have a baby torso. Why this cruel trick would happen to us is not known. I took all precautions during pregnancy, but the baby was born without arms and legs. It's really terrible and painful. I am not able to bring myself to hold my baby in my hands. God, please give my husband and myself enough courage to withstand this shocking and painful situation. I sincerely feel that it is not right to blame myself or God for this cruel trick. It is terribly hard for me to console myself. I should be bold and feel the mother's responsibility to bring up my innocent and lovely baby. God, be with us. Save my child. Please give us wisdom and courage to overcome this bitter situation. I sincerely pray that no such a baby be born to any mother. Shower your love on all. Dashko Uyichich. Dear students, if you observe this uh, diary entry which I read, in this uh, diary entry, you might have observed that some of the words are highlighted. You can see them highlighted in the three paragraphs. So the words like my, we, us, I, myself. So all such words, as you know that, they are personal pronouns. So as I said earlier, the diary entry is to be recorded in first person. The feelings of the person who writes this diary it should be recorded in the first person. So do not forget this important point. Let's take an assignment. In the lesson, attitude is altitude. We see Nick born with no arms or legs, joins the mainstream school, where he was teased and bullied. You are John, Nick's classmate. Make a diary entry of your feelings towards your friend Nick. Dear students, now let us move to the next 
reading b the lesson every success story is also a story of great failures in this lesson we come across many great people now let us take up the incident which took place in the life of thomas alva edison on the screen you can see thomas alva edison in his laboratory edison is one of the most famous and outstanding inventors of all time as a boy edison was a very backward student his mother inspired and motivated him to become a great person his noteworthy inventions include the incandescent light bulb the phonograph the motion picture camera and many more now let us watch a short video related to the childhood incident of edison Now let us listen to the voice of this great scientist. The greatest and best known invention is, of course, the gramophone. But his discovery of the electric light bulb literally revolutionized the illumination of the world. Here he is with President Hoover and Mr. Henry Ford in the laboratory where the first bulb was made. Early this year, on the occasion of his 84th birthday, the press and movie tone gathered to congratulate him. This is what he had to say about modern developments. What do you think of the Einstein theory? Uh, I don't think anything of Einstein theory because I can't understand it. <laughs> What do you think of the sound uh, picture of today? Yeah, what I think of the talking picture. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I never heard one. <laughs> 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 How does it feel to be 84 years old? Well, it feels very fast. 84 years of age. 
don't have it with the leather with you. <laughs> well, I have a little trouble now and then, but that's because I'm getting... Now, let us take an example. In the lesson, every success story is also a story of great failures. You read that in 1914, Thomas Edison, at age 67, lost factory, which was worth a few million dollars on fire. In spite of the disaster, Three weeks later, he invented the phonograph. What an attitude. Imagine yourself as Thomas Edison and write your feelings and emotions in the form of a diary entry. Let's see the model answer. To begin with, we have to begin with date. Time, 16th July 2021, 9 p.m. Dear Diary, today is really an important day in my life. My factory is burned to ashes. Myself and my family members might not have seen such a spectacular fire in our entire lives. I consoled my son not to get shocked and upset. I sincerely feel that this fire not only burned our mistakes so far in the factory, but also our entire factory. My thanks to fire for its help. I shall start all over again afresh tomorrow. Age is not a factor for me to continue my research work. I shall rebuild again what has been destroyed by the fire. Though my dreams are shattered, hopes are broken, and efforts are not fruitful, yet I shall try to rebuild my dreams. I shall not get disheartened and disappointed. I shall live up to the challenges that life brought me. I shall go through. I shall not go through, but grow through the difficulties that come on my path. I shall start again my inventions with great hope determination to reach the highest peaks of success. I believe in no challenges, no success. No challenges, no success. Thomas Alva Edison. Right students, now let us move to the next uh, reading C lesson. I will do it. So in this lesson, you come across the life of Nagavada Rama Rao Narayana Murti. As you know that N.R. Narayana Murti is the founder of Infosys, a leading IT company in the world. He believes in the motto, powered by intellect and driven by values. As a school-going lad, Narayana Murthy was the brightest boy in the class. He was thrilled to know that 
he had passed the IIT test with a high rank. Now oh, let's watch a short video. We have raised the confidence of entrepreneurs in the country. Our example. These entrepreneurs will say, if these seven jokers could do it, we will do it better. I think that is the biggest contribution in this area. Because entrepreneurship is all about creation of jobs. Honorable President of India, ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely grateful to NDTV for this kindness, this generosity, and this affection. I have been asked to speak on the three most important lessons I have learned. And they are, one, I have learned that courage is the most important attribute of a great leader. Courage to dream big, courage of conviction, courage to take bold decisions, courage to go against conventional wisdom and courage to travel the road less traveled. I have learned that the only time invariant and context invariant attributes of a successful organization are one, an environment of fairness and justice, openness to new ideas, meritocracy, speed, imagination and excellence in execution. Finally, I have learned that the leaders will have to be trustworthy first before being high performers. Such trustworthiness comes if we act according to the adages, let the good news take the stairs and let the bad news take the elevator. And second, when in doubt, this go. Thank you very much. Now let us see a question related to the diary entry of uh, this lesson. In the lesson, I will do it. You have read about Mr. Narayan Murthy, who was disappointed when his father expressed his helplessness to send him to IIT. Though his heart was bleeding, he did not get angry with anybody. On the day his classmates were leaving for Madras, Murthy went to the station to say goodbye to them. He stood there even after he could no longer see the train. Now, imagine yourself as Murti and write a diary entry of that day. Let us see the answer. 17 July 2021, 9 p.m. Dear Diary, I think today is a happy day as well as a sad day for me. I felt very glad to give a send off to my friends. So it is a happy day. It's a sad day that I can't get an opportunity of studying at IIT even though I had passed the entrance test with a high rank, I feel really disappointed. It seems all my dreams have burned to ashes. I was close to fulfill my life ambition, but circumstances 
made me to miss it. It is a fact that all IIT students study well and aspire for great things in life. I sincerely feel that it is not the institution. Finally, it is the one and one alone who can change one's life by hard work, willpower, and determination. I shall work hard and achieve my goal. God, please be with me and help me to achieve my goal. Narayana Murthy. Now let's see the features of a diary entry. Expression of a personal reflections, thoughts and feelings. Here, the writer's personal reflections, thoughts and feelings are recorded. Use of language appropriate to the mood. The language and style of writing should reflect the writer's mood, that is, whether the writer is happy, sad, surprised, shocked, disappointed, or disgusted. So the mood of the writer, it has to be clearly reflected in the style of his or her writing. Self-criticism and future plans. The writer expresses his self-criticism of his or her actions, thoughts, feelings, and behavior. The writer records his future plans to overcome the situation he or she faced, the rectification of his or her mistakes, and the refinement of his or her thoughts. Point of view. From what point of view the feelings are to be recorded is considered in this aspect. Coherence. The order of the sen uh, sentences to be followed, the ideas to be maintained in the order, while recording the feelings ought to be kept in mind in this aspect. In a broad way, let us see what is a diary entry. A diary entry is a very important personal document. It helps in keeping the memories and experiences of a person alive. Memories in the mind may disappear, but the recorded words remain forever. So, a diary is a permanent personal record that is kept of the thoughts, events and ideas linked up with an individual. Maintaining a diary will have meaning in future life or be of importance to the next generations. It is usually considered as personal and confidential. Yes, students, now it is uh, time for assignment. Let us take an assignment from reading B. From the lesson, every success story is also a story of great failures. Let us see the assignment. In the lesson, every success story is also a story of great failures. You read that Colonel Sanders at age 65 with a beat up car and a hundred dollar check from social security realized 
he had to do something. He remembered his mother's recipe and went out selling. How many doors did he have to knock on before he got his first order? It is estimated that he had to knock on more than a thousand doors before he got his first order. Imagine yourself as Colonel Sanders and write your experiences on that day in the form of a diary entry. Now let us move on to reading C. I will do it. As you know that this reading C, it is about the life of Narayana Murthy. So what is the question you have to answer here? In the lesson, I will do it. You read that as a son of a school master, Narayana Murthy showed other Indians it was possible to earn wealth legally and ethically. Narayana Murthy is the founder of Infosys, a leading company in the world. He built a team of people who were equally good. Imagine yourself as the new recruitee in Infosys on your first day of your appointment. You attended a meeting in which you saw Narayana Murthy face to face and listened his inspiring speech. Write your experiences on the day in the form of a diary entry. <laughs> 